Hey and um, welcome. I'm going to be fitting this ram air induction system to this Audi TT Mark II. So this bad boy is going to come out along with some of this piping. Guessing we keep the MAF sensor and all this is going in. So this is the kit I got through the post from Ram Air. They sent it really quickly. Um, and I'm hoping it's idiot proof because I've got no idea what I'm doing. So I will try and take photos and upload this. Um, and then if anyone else wants to do this, they can. Or if it goes terribly wrong, you know how not to do it. So the first thing we're going to try is taking off um, these screws that hold on the top of the air filter and maybe disconnecting these hose attachments. Um, and then once that's loose, I'll try loosening these two bolts and have the top of the air filter off and see what it looks like inside. Okay, here's, here's a great bit of German design. You undo the screws, but they're attached into the unit so they don't fall down, which is great. And these are just unclipped with a fingernail screwdriver, so that's nice and easy. Um, Now fairly loose, you might have to run attach this first. But there's one, two, three, four, five, six, two down the back, seven, eight screws to undo. I'm gonna put the camera down and give it a wiggle. And give it a wiggle. Okay, again, this is fairly simple. Um, handy pair of um, mold grips. Squeeze those clips and um, pull it off. So this is again easy with two hands, um, you uh, wedge your screwdriver in there, that pushes down this clip and then it just slides off, sorry I'm waiting the camera around, so yes this just slides off um, here, so this should now be completely free in theory. Again, two hand job. And there we have the air filter. It's alright. It's okay. It's not very dirty at all. Um, it probably doesn't leak it, but anyway, it's going to make the lovely noise. Other thing to note, hand, hand Audi provides this um, lovely tool holder. It's amazing. Pure plastic. Okay, so we're going to get rid of this. Okay, so it's a bit difficult to get this out, so taking this out, um, and that comes with a couple of um, so our Torx, Torx bolts, and it was, do we trust where it was in the box? It was a T25, so I'll do those two, uh, and that gets it out of the way which is good. I'm not sure if we need this. I wouldn't have thought so. So let's get rid of that. Um, and then, yeah, it should be easy enough to loosen this one off and lift the whole thing out. Okay, so this is out. As you can see, these were Allen keys rather than Torx or Hex, whatever. Um, Yeah, job done. So the important thing with these RAM air kits is it says it needs this metal 
metal bracket for this one. So that's good. Get rid of the leaves. So I think the next job is take this back to here. Fit the heat shield on here. Take the math sensor off here. Start building it up onto the back of this. I guess we do that before we um, fit it all in. Although now it's probably a good idea to open the instructions. So, next job is unscrew these two standard screws and we'll attach it onto this here heat shield. And my only concern with this kit is this pipe is uh, meant to go on here. However, in their pictures, this plastic intake stops back here. So I'm hoping the length is different because of the heat shield, but we'll find out. Hopefully not to trim anything. So again, we've taken that off. Um, two screws either side. This came off the inside, although I don't think it's necessary. Um, two screws there. It needs a bit of a wiggle because it's got a rubber seal. Keep it airtight. Um, so let's attach it to the heat shield. Okay, so that's with the mouth sensor back on. I haven't plugged it in yet, obviously. Uh, and this is just loosely in place. As you can see, there's holes pre-made for that connector and the one at the back. The one in the middle is gone. Um, I'm guessing you need to reuse the bolts for this. Uh, worth noting, the kit comes with these bolts um, for connecting onto the heat shield. Um, and they're just standard hex bolts, nice and easy. So next job is shorten this by taking this flexi pipe off. Um, take another check of the instructions just in case I've gone wrong. Uh, yeah, see how it goes. So back to the top of the old air filter. It's obviously got these clips here for the um, sound making pipe. You've got to uh, squeeze the two tabs. So some small nose pliers, uh, squeeze the two tabs and they pop out. And they're gonna go on here and here. Um, as soon as we got rid of this pipe, so I will do that. Okay, now so missed a bit. Obviously you've got to bolt the heat shield in place first because the pipe is going to be in the way. So um, again, Ram Air supply this 25 mil washer with spacer and 16 mil. Um, 25 goes at the back. Uh, so I'll get that locked into place, connect the sound making pipe, and then put on the hose. So I've attached this with uh, size four Allen key. The one down the back, the instructions aren't very clear. It says washer, spacer. Um, so I've put the spacer between the heat shield and the mount, because um, it makes it more level. And I've attached these. So this is definitely a two man job. Where well, I was worried it was too long, actually it being rubber obviously can go slightly over that. Um, I've got a good seal around there, although this isn't very straight, so I might straighten that up. Um, paper carefully out of the way, because at some point I've got to connect it down here. Um, yep, I'll check out the next step. So next thing up is the cold air feeder um, going back in. Uh, so it's going to go there, as you can see. It's fairly short of the heat shield, but um, I guess that doesn't matter because the air filter is fairly massive, so I'm going to get that screwed in with the screws that came out, thanks to Audi's handy screw holder. Um, and then we'll move on to getting the air filter in. 
Okay, so the final pieces, there's a rubber reducer that goes on the front of the mouth housing and um, then obviously a small bit of pipe. Quite difficult to get on this, as I don't want to push down too hard. Um, I've wiggled that on, didn't really think about it if I want the words showing. Um, so the clip for this is going to be around the back, but who really cares? Um, so yeah, I'll get that on, switch it on. So there we have it, it's installed, it says don't do this too tight, it's not too airtight. I've done it a bit too tight. Don't forget to plug in your mass sensor cable. Clicked in. So yeah, air filter, air direction, plasticky thing, pipe work. Let's see if it still works. And it's all good. It needs the service. We'll get that done later. Um, yeah, what more can you want? Obviously, the bonnet lights on. I'll uh, let it heat up. Give it some beans, see if it makes a nice noise. Um, at the moment, it sounds pretty much as it did. So, um, I imagine it makes a noise when it needs more air. Okay, so, little update. I think you might take this off the old air filter. Um, slots in there. So I'm going to disconnect the speeder, slot it in, then that should be dropped down. So there we go, that looks much better. Blowing air directly in. Um, screw this back on to get that off. There's like a tab under here and a couple of tabs up here. Um, takes a bit of wiggling. I guess it's been on there for the last 11 years. But yeah, job done. That is fitting a Ram air filter onto um, Audi TTS Mark II 2010. All good. So very much lastly, these are the tools I used. Um, thin nose pliers, pretty standard old cheap socket set I think you got off Amazon. The obligatory telescopic magnet, dropped a washer, usually lose 10 mil bolt, bolts, found it. Uh, screwdrivers from socket set, um, monkey grips, a cup of tea or two, and these leftover parts, the air filter housing, air filter, got the two screws from where the math sensor connected because you replace those with bolts, and the intake pipe. Done. So this will be stored in the garage, in case it's all horrible. Um, that's it. Thanks for watching.